Hello, McWarriors! How's it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tag. It is time that we're gonna bring our big bad thing to the battlefield that is called the Kraken. So, therefore, I'm actually gonna wait for all the days to get all of my mechs prepared, and I wanna just bring the Rack 10 build uh, again to the battlefield. I wanna do a test run so we can actually see what it does and if it needs some tweaks later. I'm uh, gonna. Analyze Tika's natural remedy. Let's see. Has recovered from an injury and is in low spirits. Actually, that's quite good. I like that. Alrighty, so let's uh, let's keep going. Grandpa is also out of action for six days, but he will recover soon enough. And then uh, we can hopefully play the Kraken. There we go. Two more days. Yes, I know. We kind of cut our finances, but that's okay. So, one thing before we get into the first mission of the day is uh, this year. We're gonna try to figure out what to do with our pilots. I think we're just gonna add some more skill points to them so that they can act at maximum capacity. Lots of piloting, so I don't have to worry about any fail chances on anything anymore. Other than that, I think it is just, you know, guts and gunnery and... We tried to get them maxed out to 10. That's basically it. This year is interesting. I'm gonna go with tactics first and then piloting afterwards. Alright, brother. You actually... you're becoming a pretty good pilot here. Grandpa is getting piloting. Sure, sure, sure. Good job there, so you can run your supercharger a little bit longer, man. Legion is gonna get gunnery and tactics for the moment. I think that's how we're gonna go with it. There's Moloch. Moloch is maxing out piloting as well. Oh god, we have not looking at those guys for a while. Morph, same thing, basically. Getting that piloting going for you. Munin, same thing. Munin is very interesting here, especially since she is running the Ifrit a lot, which means the, the jet booster will be more reliable now. Tinker is out of action for the moment. She doesn't have a, you know, a full mech that she's running all the time. And then there is XO, who's doing nothing. All right. So good news is we actually have money, thanks to the fact that we sold some very valuable parts uh, last episode. Operation Attack and Defend. I think that's a good one here. I want to take it. We are playing against the Lyran Commonwealth and we are taking all of our mechs here and all the salvage. So, this guy needs to be operated by something who is, or somebody who is really good at gunnery and has the controlled burst perk. So, you were on Irby before. Congratulations, Morph. You are now on the Kraken. The Stalker wants to come back as well. Alright, that's a vehicle slot, so we're gonna bring the Ifrit there. So, Stalker goes here, Grandpa goes here. Ifrit goes here, and then I think it was, again, Munin who wants to pilot that thing. Oh, we exceed the tonnage now! So no Ifrit Strikecraft for us. No, no vehicles, just mechs. <laughs> Let's go, guys. That's gonna be interesting here. Alrighty. Let's check it out, everybody. This is gonna be interesting, because uh, we have a rather, you know, clustered map, and uh, we need to be quite fast with the attack, as well as defend ourselves quite nicely. But I think we have enough people who can actually sit in the back and, you know, stay there and just shoot. Uh, especially the mortar mag, it doesn't need to go anywhere, it has good amount of range, so it can always fire indirectly, it can kind of stay close to the base, just in case something is coming in that we need to take down quickly. And uh, again, the other mags are just rushing to the front line. Uh, probably the Mata is not going to do so much as well here, because it's a direct firing weapon with great pinpoint. At the same time, the BFG needs line of sight, and it's hard to acquire here in the city. And yeah, it's attack and defense, so there's a lot of salvage on the board. I, I cannot wait to see um, more assault mechs, honestly. But I think the next thing that I should prioritize on, especially since we have money now, is, I mean, first, uh, finishing the longbow that we have. Uh, not the one that is in the mech bay right now, because I think it's not worth building it. It kind of is an okay mech if we want to make a spare missile mech, because it's running a light engine, a light 255 even, so we can use it as an artillery mech. However, if you want to make it real good, we should probably put a double XL engine in there and, uh, you know, just load it with missiles and maybe even a mortar. So, I don't know if that's possible. But anyway, uh, that's not the, not the point right now, that's besides it. I want to get another part of a Yermungandr or two. That is a 100 ton longbow hero variant. And that thing. We're gonna invest so much good stuff into that thing. Uh, but we also need upgrades on the Argo right now. As you could see, we have a limit on drop tonnage, which is quite nasty. The maximum, by the way, is 800 tons. So you can run 8 full 100 ton assault max with no vehicles. Or you keep some lower rated, like lower tonnage max. And um, therefore, I want to keep my Tinder Wolf. I want to probably get a Savage Wolf if I can get my hands on it. So I think a bunch of 100 tonners and then 
the occasional 75 toner, I think, is a good idea. And then we can also, you know, slice some some vehicles in there, something like uh, VTOLs or tanks. We also have a chopper Rowl, I believe. One of these crazy artillery arrow tanks. We should probably take a look if we can find another part of it or two, because I do believe we have two parts already. But anyway, the spinner is done. Can we now get this image here that helps us actually getting into the mission? Finally. Holy macaroni. Alright, so five skulls, 600,000, that should cover our drop cost. And we have 5 out of 23 salvage. As soon as the Argo is upgraded fully, the, the super late game starts. Because then we don't have to worry about anything anymore. All the money that we have then is gonna get into monthly upkeep, repair cost, upgrade cost, and uh, mech building cost. So we don't have to worry about anything, you know, saving some money for Argo. And we can completely clear that out of our mind and brain and completely focus on actually building mechs and then hunting the super heavies. Ooh, also, uh, the Marauder. Yeah, the Marauder now has an overheat build that I definitely want to check out as well. TSEMP, Plasma Cannon and MRMs with incendiary ammo. That is the trifecta of you are sleeping now. Cool. So, enemy base here. We're playing in daytime, which is much appreciated. I really do like that. We'll drop here. And here. Actually, I should probably drop separately. What's that? Black Knight, great. Marauder can actually go on the flank here. Uh, we have... Proteus is fine here. Actually, no, Proteus also wants to be here. We have the... The Marta, I think. The Tinderwolf. Juggernaut is fine. Pirate King Crab can jump, that's okay. And then the Stalker is also fine here. I think this is gonna be our setup. I want two people to move over to the left, intercept the attackers, which are actually on the left side here. Kaboom! Let's go! AMS Protector. Very nice! Oh god. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why I don't like playing in urban biomes, especially with uh, lots of support lances here. Alright, we have a Bola as a friend, we have a Azura as a friend. Plasma T is EMP and MRMs, and the Narc. Oh, there's also an EMP Narc, of course. So that Azura is doing the exact same thing as I'm trying to do here. There's a Raptor with integrated advanced AMS, MMLs, and small heavy lasers. Nice one. And tandem rockets and an AC5. Cool. Yeah, we got some good stuff here. Alright. We are the attackers. Here. Got it. Let's go ahead and overload our AMS on the Juggernaut and the Ifrit that we are not using right now. Sure, there is no Ifrit. So the only Mark II AMS that we have is on the Jug. We should really get some more of them. Anyway, let's reserve. Let's see what's coming. I'm gonna also disable all of the circles. It's just a lot of clutter and I don't know if it's making the game faster if they're not rendered. Alright, Raptor. Good on you. Those guys seem to be rather slow-paced, and those guys, I mean the enemies. They start in turn 20. Interesting. Ah, nose is itching. I have a pollen allergy, and now everything is blooming outside. <laughs> Alright. Turn 16. Nothing crazy so far. I want to use my Marauder, and it is turn 12. Okay. So we're gonna reserve a bit more until we can find them. There has to be someone coming up. So, last reserve for us. Standing by. We will now take Moloch and we will jump into the fray. Acknowledged. Can we see something? We can see something. Alright. There is a Banshee here and there is a Banshee there. There is a Banshee freaking everywhere. I'll go with Incendiaries. Hit him! He didn't really get any heat though, hey which is kind of weird. Anyway, BFG, move forward. No shooting, just run. Oh, wait, camera is weird. I want to get here on the platform in order to shoot in this area. So you're done. Receiving you. Heavy PPC juggernaut is basically doing the same thing, speed, no just talk. moving forward. Next round is gonna be the interesting oh, God, round. I was sleeping. What do you want? Okay, so can we attack this guy again? The answer is yes. 
Lining him up, knocking him down just like Bella Woods. We cannot, however, hit him. <laughs> Attacking is possible. Nobody said anything about accuracy here. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go fast with the gladiator. We want to get into the fight as quickly as possible. Hopefully not getting killed in the process. Seven. Eight evasion. Nice. So what do we see? I see buildings. Okay. I should probably shoot him for the chance of a headshot. Alright. Got some damage in. That's all. Yes, Commander. Here is the Kraken. It can only jump for... Th uh, it can jump for four evasion. But we probably just sprint. I don't want to rack up any stability Full issues speed, yet. No Alright. So we're gonna do that. And then the last two guys. Now that is interesting. Let's actually go multi-target and do that. Is that smart? Dropping mines in this area? Probably not. So we will shoot the... God. The ATMs to the back. Because that's what we can do. And I think I'm going to shoot something at this guy as well. And this is going to be... A little bit of acid for later? Sure, why not? The double fast come on Alpha. ATMs go to Bravo. And then a bit of acid no to prime the Banshee for a full face punch kill. So here we go. Some damage on the buildings. We gotta do it at some point anyway. Might as well do it now. And then that. I really hope he's getting some of these acid debuffs. Five times. Okay, so 5% more damage he's taking now. Yeah, that's not much. It's alright, though. Alright, and last guy that we have is our Tinderwolf. Tinderwolf is gonna sprint over here. Roger. It doesn't really make so much sense attacking here, I guess. Do we run out of ammo? Maybe. We might actually get that. But hey, damage is damage, and that's important. Cool. So, next. We have a new round, the raptors are running around, and they are actually shooting! Hey, got some damage on the Banshee. That's pretty nice. Now we see a Neanderthal. We have seen those guys before, they are crazy melee max. And then there is something else, sure, why not. Here's the Banshee. An SRM Carrier Mark III. Oh boy. We'll check it out in a sec. Yeah, that's a lot of missiles. There's a Bushwhacker, S2. There is a Pegasus, there is an Archer, 2R. Not too crazy there. But the swarm results the swarm results are actually giving us a bit of a bad time. Anyway. Here we are. We cannot really sh yeah, we can shoot something. And I think I will. Let's go. So I can attack the buildings, but oh wait, what? So what can I attack? Only the buildings? Uh-huh. Oh, damn it. That, that's not really what I wanted, but okay. Well then, two PPCs against the building. I thought I had line of sight to the Banshee, but that wasn't the case. No, not from here. Should probably check my line of sights a bit more. The Waka coming in. 17-18. So Gladiator is turn 18, which is amazingly good. Um, Kraken. Kraken wants to be in the fight, so let's bring it to the fight. Let's move. And done. All right, Bola is fine. Oh God, I was sleeping. What do you want? So the question is, what's the old man going to do? There is this Neanderthal right in front of us, and I honestly don't like that. There's also a longbow. Oh, I don't like going fast. Kind of a pirate Scary. longbow. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what we have in terms of hit chance. That's a 30. That's a 27. That's better. Well, not really great. All right, Banshee. Him up, him down, just oh, no. Like Woods. Oh, no. I just realized. I didn't see it. Therefore, I forgot. I had mines there, but the mines are gone now because of the Thunderbolt. Yeah. Not that good. But also not that bad. He took a lot of damage already. It's fine. Ready for orders. Cool. Let's attack. Can only charge here. No, that's a problem. Can we afford that? Probably not, because there's an SRM carrier around the corner and we don't want to stand there with no evasion. I guess we have to actually reserve this. Damn. 
Didn't want to, but I think I had to. However, if the Banshee is getting closer, and we can get things done, no problem. Ooh, took a heavy hit there. Yeah, I heard that. What was that? Banshee is coming closer. So we should have enough movement to actually go for a punch attack at this point. Damage is minor, Commander. Cool. Next up. Those defenders are not really that dangerous. In terms of salvage, I see the Neanderthal, I see the Longbow Pirate. That seems interesting. Like, those two alone. What does UG mean? Hmm, Ook. That's what it means. Ook. That's what a Neanderthal would say. Alright. Pegasus is trying to flank. Those fast movers can be really nasty. Good to go. Can be. Um, anyway, you get up here. Roger. And you will destroy this building, ideally. Firing on top. Provide line of sight to us when we are arriving here on the high ground. Fresh real estate available. Maybe I should have waited for the longboard to take his turn before I do that. Oh, he did. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Orders. What would we attack? What would we attack? Oh god, I definitely want to move and shoot. I think uh, jumping here gives us one more evasion, but it also will destabilize us. And six evasion seems good. I'm gonna go for the Neanderthal, because I want to impair his movement. So he cannot actually attack me with his hatchet or whatever he is running. Nice. TSM is on, alright. But he got a head injury. That's good. He comes here Azura, helping us out with that. Yeah, perfect. More heat. Okay, another health injury. Commander? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. I need to make this Proteus jump capable. I think. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyway, it's definitely gonna be a multi-target if possible. So we're gonna take the Banshee. Come on, click that. We're gonna take you. Thank you very much. Clicked it already. Okay, can I click click the longbow? Is that possible? No, it's stealth, therefore it's not possible. Okay. In that case... I'm gonna drop more acid on the Banshee. That's it. Okay. Acid on the Banshee. This goes all on the Banshee. Actually, I wanna drop in... Um, what's it called? Fast come here. That's fine. All right, let's go. Roger that. So, there's a lot of mines in this area, plus some, um, no, plus nothing. So he's getting more lag damage, hopefully. There's acid and ATM damage here on this Banshee. Helping us with the punch attack. Okay, Orders. so there's that. I wanna attack the longbow as well. Tinder Wolf, don't get killed, please. What do we have in terms of hit chance? It is an okay hit chance, and I think if we go Artemis, then it's a good hit chance. Yeah, I need to just kill that thing. I copy. Let's go. Missiles on the missile mech. I could have opted to actually also go for heat here, but who cares? I just want to do it. So, the carrier has taken its turn already. This way, we can easily punch the Banshee. We'll move from here, from the side, right? Nah, right from the front. It's fine. Heading out. I was thinking about my angle relative to the SRM carrier later. It's an arm hit. And a head hit as well. But not enough. So this is what I wanted the acid for. Anyway. He lost initiative and that's good. Oh god, I was sleeping. What do you want? Cool. I can't attack to this area if I want to, and I think I want to. No, so I the Stalker is gonna help out here against that dead. nasty, nasty carrier. It has the capacity to take it down in one blow. And it did not. Did not. Very close, though. It's coming. A Raptor coming around the corner. Getting some through armor damage to the Neanderthal, but that's it. Waiting for orders. Okay. 
I think this time the Marauder wants to jump again, and I think we will... Oh, we could jump to cover here. That's a good jump. I'll take it. I copy. And I wonder if I should go for this guy again. Maybe it's a good idea. I mean, that's what we do, right? We cripple enemies for days. Yep, that's a good chunk of heat. I don't think he's ever gonna able to move at all. What do you need? All right. So, Tinderwolf is jumping this time, getting that four evasion, and we will attack the longbow again, because that guy is scary. We gotta take him out. He has kind of two missiles that are either jammed or destroyed. Don't know why. And didn't kill. Ooh. I was expecting a kill or a knockdown here. Asurax coming, helping. Going for the Banshee. Alright, explosive pod. Lots of heat on the guy. Perfect. Now what? The minefield is kicking in. And the Marauder is fine. Perfect. He's not shutting down, though. So turn 18, by the way, is the turn of the Longbow. And it is able to shoot once more. Sadly. Uh, in the meantime, the Banshee is getting hit in the butt. That should be a knockdown, by the way, since it got a lot of stability damage from the punch attack earlier. And now they're just tipping him over. Which is good. Very nicely done. Thank you. It's very helpful. Voila, it's just scooting around. Nothing... Nothing major happening here. But now, what? He is shooting some missiles. But our amazing evasion and, of course, the Light cover down. that we get from the, from the destroyed building that we are standing in is super helpful. Alright, I think next, uh, next round we will actually get some kills here. The longbow is definitely going to go down. The banshee probably as well, but I don't know about the Neanderthal how I want to try to kill it. Because I think it's the, the highest value target that we have. Maybe if you just go for legs with the martar or something. It should be right around the corner, like right here. We can probably get an angle here. Waiting for orders. And we can. We can definitely do that. Sure, I'm gonna move. If I don't have to jump, why would I? On my way. And I wanna go warlord and I want to attack his leg. I hope it's the right choice. Alright, I cannot click him, so I have to tap through. Let's go. I mean it's 350 damage that we are dealing. That's kind of a lot. The remaining damage will then transfer over to the side to also. And as you could see, it was a little bit too much there. So this guy is about to pop. And... yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it's down, we don't have to worry about him. That's good. So my whole overheating plan was completely for nothing, because he didn't even overheat. He didn't even uh, feel the consequences of what I did once. He just got destroyed. But that's okay. Better plan ahead. Commander. So, can we finally? The answer is yes. Can attack the archer. Huh. Can attack the scooter here. Can attack the banshee that's on the ground. I guess we gotta do it like that. Acknowledged. Ooh, that's a good hit chance. Oh my god, I will take that. Alright, I want to check something real quick. The enemy... Oh, so we are attacking at long range, plus 4, obstructed, plus 2, into forest, plus 2, moved self, plus 1, sprinter, plus 1. Side attack, plus 1, arm mounted, negative 3, weapon accuracy, negative... Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, This is a test run, so therefore I will shoot all the times and I want to see how much recoil we will have afterwards. So let's check out our recoil modifier next attack, okay? I don't I don't know if we are recoil neutral on this build, but if so, that's gonna be amazing. And the tank is down. I don't know if you've seen it, but it just got obliterated. You know, same as the building here. Okay. I'm under heavy fire. Yeah, you're fine, buddy. You didn't even get scratched. So that was the carrier. Um, our gladiator is turned 14, and I think the next target that we will attack is the... 
Let me see. Uh, it's the uh, Bushwhacker. Juggernaut has one job, and that's killing this guy. A fire. I know, it's overkill. And I know that there's a Banshee still technically alive right in front of us. But I don't think the Banshee is going to do much this round. Therefore, I'm fine with that. Okay. Shotgun Hammer Fist. Actually, we can attack this guy with a charge attack. With a pretty good hit chance. 97%. I will definitely take that. That should result in a kill. Oh god, the lag. I'm sorry for the lagginess. This is why I usually try to not go for urban environment. Especially attack and defend. It, it makes the game super yeah. laggy. But it's the best mission I had here. It's not a kill. I was expecting one. But yeah, you can see the damage spread very nicely over the enemy. If I had more focus damage, that it would have been better. Cool. Cannot do anything. I will attack the Banshee, I think. We will attack his head. We will go for... Guided ammo and ATMs and... We go Alpha. He dead? Nope. Yes? No? Maybe? Who knows? No, he's still alive. Alrighty. So, with a single AC5, one small, actually two smalls, one medium and a large laser, it's not even that scary. I think the scariest thing that the Banshee could do is actually rushing towards us and giving us a punch. So... They're attacking the buildings now. Ah, oh God, I was sleeping. What do you want? What do you want? I don't know, Grandpa. Alright. Yeah, I guess. I guess we reinforce here on the side. <laughs> That's what we can do. Longbow! Let's get him. Let's do it, guys. Fire. That's a legging. By the way, I cannot really see it, I but I think the reinforcements legging. will come in uh, five or six rounds. So, no big deal here. Hmm. It's not a kill, but he's on the ground. Yes, Commander. I also want to help out here. On my way. Yeah, let's use the Tinder Wolf for the Bushwhacker. That might be a kill. Mm, not depending on the splash, but we had very bad clustering. So Raptor is not doing anything. That's okay. Should we rush back? Kicking them doesn't do so much. I think I'm gonna rush back. Let's go. Charge attack! 99%. Let's see if we can hit. There's a 0.9% chance that we fail. And that should be enough damage. I mean, seriously. Come on. Yeah. Alright, that's what I was waiting for. Perfect. Cool. Next. I will jump. Because we have a lot of resolve right now, we can easily go Vigilance. And then I will attack the Banshee. And I will not go incendiary, I will drop acid. Acknowledge. For massive damage. Got some, uh, you know, some heat on this guy anyway. He's unsettled, he's unsteady, he's about to die. Perfect. Cool. So the Juggernaut can take care of the Archer because he's knocked down and there is no way he's not gonna die from this, right? Yeah. Goodbye, Archer. Krapong! Scratch another, Scratch another target. Cool. Good to go. So, uh, the question is, do we have recoil? If yes, how much? Also, we have a good chunk of heat on this guy. <laughs> Alright, let's check it out, guys. We have no recoil. It's, he it's recoil neutral, that thing. Oh, holy crap. Eh, heat management is not the best here, I gotta say, but uh, still. We have the ability to fire controlled burst for some better cooling. Alright, let's go with the Banshee. Shoot him a bunch of times. And go all in. Pilot lethal damage. That was a headshot. And the damage was 56 here. Not bad. So, Bola, help us out, please. Nope. 
I mean, we have that beauty. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Banshee now. I will actually try to attack the legs again. Or maybe we go for a headshot. Cannot click, so I have to tap. Let's go and 11%. Uh, That's actually the longbow. Let me take the other guy, the Banshee. It's 13. It's even better. Maybe because he's standing. And we did it! Yeah, so one hit went to the leg and then the follow-ups follow to the face, actually. That was good. Oh, did you see how much damage we dealt? How much was the damage number indicated in the lower right on the on the mech on the BFG? Because the acid should have amplified that big time from the 350 standard to maybe 500? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna kill that thing now. Let's go. Let's go and kill us, uh, destroy Santa Torso. I want to shoot everything, therefore control the burst for better heat management. There we go. Let's go. The mech works, but in a scenario like that, where it is very limited in movement, it's kind of hard to bring it into a good position. I mean, I always want to be firing, so... I, I cannot really move around here and then face the other way and then not shoot this round. Commander. So, are we done? Are we? I don't know. I don't think we have any targets on the board anymore, which means it's wrecking time! Let's go. Affirmative. Yeah, the walk and cooling of the building is impaired. You're not gonna go anywhere anymore. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, I, I think we are done. I think we are absolutely done. Cool. Uh, Tag this building here, Grandpa. Can you do it? Oh, look, I can see through them. I think we missed it. Pretty much. No more missiles. Oh, no. Oh, no. I gotta use the bees. Alright, Raptor is doing things. Yeah, I think the only thing that we have to do in this uh, position here is to just destroy all the buildings. No shooting. So let's get in. Got it. 135 Artemis shots, let's go for it. I mean, those high value, those high skull um, attack and defend missions, they require a lot of damage on those buildings, which is crazy. Standing by. Okay, Mr. Hammerfist, you better turn those off. Just in case. Just a security measure here. Yeah, it's fine. Go ahead and move. On my way. And fire! I copy. Yeah, not quite a destruction. Need something, Chief? Uh, but we have more where that came Full from. Throttle. Oh, we are not able to use the AP Gausses yet. I mean, that's major damage that we are missing. But that Alpha Strike was enough anyway, so money, no turn wasted. Next is a baller. Ready to get it on. Ooh, here we go. Let's do it. Jump jet. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna shoot everything here. Or maybe not because we're out of range actually. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, look at that. We are actually out of range for the rocks, so we have to make the make slightly more mobile. I'm actually thinking about either a supercharger or another jump jet. Good to go. Uh, mortar? What's up, boss? Cannot really do anything with that. But... We have that here. I and that should level the building to the ground. Should not have shot my hyper lasers for, you know, the chance of misfiring. I could do this all day. The BFG Commander? would have been enough. Alright, what can we shoot here? Just that? Firing Fine. <laughs> Fire. Damage is damage. By the way, no, wait a second. I wanted to say that the oh God, the reinforcements might come wise. in, but they they won't. They just won't. Oh, I don't like going fast. It's scary. So thermobolts actually deal oh, quite a good look, chunk of damage them. against buildings. So we're gonna use them as well. And I mean, not much more to say than I hope that we get some good salvage out of that. We negotiated for quite a chunk, so it's better be worth it. Roger. Alright, combat shotgun. Firing. Is that just 40 damage here? I don't know. Alright. Let's go with that. I was missing 15 shots here. I know. My bad. But I think we can actually finish it this round without big issues here. 
Here's the Marauder coming in. Sure. Uh, let's go. Let's shoot Acid. Why not? Actually, Acid is not really doing so much against the building. Interesting. Yeah, Infernos would have been better here, I think. But anyway, we have that thing. And that'll get it done. No, you just missed. Oh my god. 99% against a building. A huge immovable object. And you missed it. Who's drunk in the cockpit here? How's it going? Alrighty. You want fast? We got the I AP gals. Let's shred him. A million tiny holes and the building is standing. Orders. Oh no. Oh no. Double time. Let's go. Alright. Let's take the large laser and hit him. Copy that. Don't you say that this building is not destroyed. Oh, you missed! Oh god. Waiting for orders. I mean, the fire control system is made for... Is definitely made for... Um, a ballistic, so those lasers are not really doing anything. But hey, we got ATMs. Right, Commander. I could have actually multi-targeted here. And finished the round now. Target destroyed. Yeah. Can we? Can we go home? Aye, aye. All right. Hello. I got Hydras here and LK and whatever. Firing. All right, there we go. That worked. Ooh, so let, uh, let's get out of here. So those rocks are certainly devastating as soon as they're getting in line of sight. The ballistic battle compute, I like the, the crack and fire control system that we have is amazing for them. But we don't really have other good accuracy on the other support weapons. That means we need something where accuracy doesn't matter. That means we're gonna swap the lasers for LRMs and those LRMs are dropping Hydra missiles to help us in case we don't kill right away. I think this is the only way to play this, really. Or we take ATMs which bring natural accuracy. That's also another way to do it. Um, but here we go. We have... We have two parts of this thing already. 80 ton assault mag. I'm not really interested in that. No. So if you get it randomly, then so be it. I will, however, take a look at what else we get. This is some regular stuff. Lots of SRMs, tag, C3 unit, ECM. Nothing too... Nothing too special, nothing too crazy. There's nothing here. Oh god, do we take Solaris spikes? I don't think so. No, they're not really helping us. They give you multiplier to charge attack. But charging is dangerous because you lose all the evasion. I'm only doing it if I'm feeling really comfortable. Reduce damage taken is fine, melee. And a bit more charge attack damage and less self damage. But those things are one ton, half a slot. No, wait, one slot, half a ton. I'm not gonna take them. Thunder Augmented. I have two things that say Thunder augment Augmented already. I shouldn't take more. Or I should take more and then build another one of those mine layer mechs. MRM improved. Not bad. SRM Acid, also not bad. Do we need more Thunderbolt 10 missiles? I wonder. I don't think we have any more missile hard points on the Stalker though, so the thing is full. Um, I could use the Longbow, the Quad Missile Longbow, to run a lot of Thunderbolts. But then I would just take ammo. I don't want to take ammo. I need money. And assault make parts and stuff. So that was basically uh, a nothing here. Yeah. Maybe I'll take the fusion core. 380 is decent. MRM, LRM. Ooh, difficult. I can f take a Banshee. <laughs> I can take an Archer. This is really difficult here, guys. Maybe I'll take the Neanderthal parts just to strip it. 400 rated XL engine seems like an idea. Maybe we can get it. Pegasus gives us a bit of money. It's a hover tank. It doesn't bring the best items though. I, I honestly don't know what to pick here. So 
I'm gonna make a... Take the thing here, the, the core. <laughs> it's just bad. I'm not gonna take the Solaris Spikes. Mine Clearance, LRM Ammo. I'm gonna take LRM Thunder. Maybe I'm gonna build something with it. Improved MRM Ammo is also pretty good. <sighs> Thunderbolt 10, yes or no? I think no. Guys, it's time that we get to Clan Space so that even in a mission like that, we get good equipment that matters. I'll take the Pegasus parts and try to sell them. Alright. So, Longbow, Pegasus, Pegasus, Carrier, Ear Lodge, Medium, Medium, SRM-6s, Case, Diffusion Core is gonna get sold. Why not? Lots of single heat sinks. Basic sensors for the value. High explosive AMS ammo is quite good. It brings a jam chance, but it deals more damage to missiles, which is great to intercept the bigger ones. Uh, and then we got all of that. Yeah, that was such a bad haul. But hey, you cannot win always. Uh, anyway, maybe the Pegasus gives us some money. Well, let's check it out. Take a look at that. Maybe we get like 100,000 Seabills out of those. Not really good, but okay. Um, in terms of max, I think it's a good idea to try to get some more clan omni max, and those are best found in clan space. So, what I want to do now is I want to figure out where to go next. I think we will we'll go to a planet that's kind of four skull, because I want uh, those 75 tonners. I want uh, savage wolves, I want vultures, and stuff like that. So, I'm not gonna go all in on the five skull planets. And as I was saying, we need to upgrade Argo, so drop tonnage is the next big thing. We need storage space for that. Oh, okay. Mech Bay 2 beta port storage space. Oh yeah, never mind. Reduces monthly upkeep. Cool. We can build that, no problem. And after that, we'll take a look at the Mech Bay, because I wanted to sell those Pegasus items. We have another misfire here. Of course we would. It's always the right arm hyperlaser. All freaking aways. But okay. So BFG is good. And we'll take a look at that. I think the Pegasus is a light tank. It's 120,000. That's okay. We'll sell the parts here. Why not? Fine. Next up. I think I'm done with this planet. I mean, are there any other good missions that we want to play here? There are some assassination missions, which could actually result in getting another assault mech. Okay, that's how we do it. We will play those two five skull assassination missions, and then we're gonna start skipping planet and we go to clan space. And where I wanna go is to clan hell horses to the left side here, because, um, you know, they have quite a big system. And there's, um, there's a lot of stuff that we can do. We can still play for and against Steiner, and uh, we have the option to actually fight those hell horses. And the further we get in, the the less we get those other factions, and the more we will fight against uh, either the government or the hell horses. So those are the planets we have to go to if you want to um, kind of grind the salvage. That's going to be interesting. Uh, but anyway, guys, that has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.